What's up, fam? So, last night in our little axle change business, well, the autofocus or whatever was on and it wasn't letting me change it. I'm still new to this camera thing, honestly, so you, you guys might miss out on that little part of it, but it's no big deal. It's all on now. Well, everything in the front's pretty much on. Just uh, got to do the height adjustment. But also... I have done the back. I was, I was in a time crunch. I would show you guys how I did it. And honestly, it's really, really easy to do the back uh, camber rod or arm, whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's like a rod. And then the shock or the coilovers for the back as well. They're pretty easy. So I guess I'll give you guys a quick explanation to how I did it and all that good stuff. Like I said, it's, it's not that difficult at all. But let me show you guys real quick. So there it is, my dudes. Got my function form type twos in the back. So for these, so you have your you have your three little screws or bolts right here. Or not three, but yeah, three. Well this one right here, back in the back, and this one right here. So these two for this one is uh 14 millimeter, also 14. And you just take this one off, this one off. And then what I did for, you know, the, just for the heck of it to be good, I adjusted it to the same length as what was before, as the old one. So that's kind of the thing you could do to kind of have your alignment somewhat decent. I mean, you still would have to do an alignment because obviously, you know, you got to have the right tools for all that. And for the coilovers, there's two nuts right here at the top so those two right there these are actually 15s but i think the other ones are 14s so those two will come off and then and then and then and then you have these two so these are 14s wait yeah yeah these are 14s let me double check real quick yeah so they are 14s so what you got to do for this in order to actually drop this uh coil over so you have to remove this one right here. It's a whole, it's just a whole bolt right here to remove it from the other side. And remove this one from the other side as well. So you got that. And then once you remove it, the lower arm from the back end will drop. So then the coilover, it'll drop and give you enough space to pull it out. And then after that, you just do everything in reverse. Just put it back together as you got it. Nothing too crazy about it really. But that's pretty much like the main gist of how to do these back ends. These are really easy to be honest. Uh, and then adjust the right height, which that I have to learn myself on that. I gotta, I gotta see how low it is first. But the front is definitely low. I mean right now it is jacked from the back end, but it's extremely low. And then if you guys have any recommendations of, you know, how to do certain things or anything like that or how you do it. Feel free to comment down below. And then I hope you guys like my little setup, you know. Like it's just some function form coilovers. Uh, just some regular uh, axles. And then my true heart uh, ball joints. Hopefully they work good. And then uh, my Skunk 2 LCAs. Those are really good. I know those work good. And then uh, hopefully this uh, coilovers, they ride perfect. Uh, Shoot, I can't wait to be driving, honestly. It's been a it's been like a month or two or whatever. But dude, it's feels so long. It's crazy. And uh feel free to follow my TikTok at It's Your Boy Vic with an extra C on that bad boy. And then uh Instagram also, it's your boy Vic. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Uh let me know what you guys would like to see with Integras. And then also that Civic had a problem with that. But hopefully I can give you guys more content, be more confident, and uh, showing you guys how to do things. Because uh, honestly, I'm just, this is how I'm doing as I go. So I'm learning slowly. I'm no expert, as I said. But appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we catch you guys on the flip, all right? Deuces. All right. All right. So I did forget one thing, you guys. And that's for the uh, for the axle nut, real quick. 
this bad boy right here so you want to torque it down from what i've read it's like a 134 pounds uh i did 140 <clears throat> but i'm also going to do it by hand just real quick just in case and then that little spot right there that indention right there you would want to hit it with a little flathead and just uh bend it in there crease it and that'll pretty much be done with the axle nut <clears throat> that'll that'll do the job for it make sure it's safe and sound that's it my dudes